Good afternoon, everybody. I'm very happy to be sitting here to announce this, um, this mega event on December 17th at the O2 Arena. You know, it was seven, sorry, seven months basically to the day that myself and Tony Bellew had our epic battle, where, which will be etched into the British public's memory for many years to come. Uh, it was a great fight to be involved in. Everybody who was there watching live and everybody who tuned in via Skybox box office got value for money. Everybody really did truly enjoy uh, the, the, the build-up, the fight, and the aftermath. It left everybody with an opinion. And that's what you want in boxing. That's, that's what takes boxing from you know, just a, a, an average Saturday night, or actually Sunday night, this fight's going to go on to a mega event that people remember forever. Um, I've, since, uh, since the fight, I've trained basically, I, the fight was on a Saturday night from Monday, the Monday after the fight, I think from March 7th, so March 6th, I've been back training. You know, there's only certain parts of my body I could train, but I've been working hard in the, with the mindset of I will fight again in December. Even before I even started my rehabilitation, I was always going to fight in December. I told myself, I told my body, I told my soul that I will be back in the ring before the end of the year and I've done everything humanly possible um, to get back to where I believe I should be. I'm in, I believe I'm in better shape strangely now, you know, ten and a half weeks out from uh, December 17th than I was walking to the ring. I'm, I'm happy with uh, the new setup I have. Ishmael Salas has been working with me uh, day in, day out. And we had our first official day of training on Monday and I, I was very, very happy with what we were doing, very happy with the, uh, the flow and the vibe. We've, we spent enough time together now to really push down this final uh, sort of 10 weeks. Um, going into this fight, going into the first fight, Tony Bellew's motivations were clear and very obvious to see. He wanted to secure his family. And for any athlete, any human being, that should always be uh, first and foremost in your mind. And I'm very happy that that happened. You know, I, I co-promoted the event with uh, Eddie Hearn and Matchroom, and I know what Tony Belly got paid for the first fight, and mission completed. He's financially secured for the rest of his life. He's a multimillionaire, and that's, that's fantastic. He's, he's welcome to a, a very small uh, club of British boxers who have enough money to, where they don't have to box. They don't have to have a job. They can sit on a beach for the rest of their life, and they're comfortable. So with that being said, what I, I look, I ask myself, what are his motivations going into his second fight? He beat me the first time round, plain and simple. He got the victory, his hand was raised, my corner threw in the towel, he won the fight. I didn't believe I'd get this opportunity again. I genuinely thought I asked for it in the ring, I said, you know, if you'd oblige a rematch, the fans won it. I didn't think it would happen. I genuinely didn't. I was looking, looking at other options, but Tony, for, for some reason, um, wants to do it again. And you know, great. You know, people you know, put their lives on the line, people get in the ring. He said on numerous occasions how dangerous boxing is, you know, and, you know, people, people rob banks to secure their family. They put their life on the line. They could get shot in the bank. They could you know, go to prison forever, but they do it to secure their family. That's a, re a genuine reason people rob banks. And when you get away from, when you rob a bank once, do you go back to the same bank again? When your family is secured, do you go back to the same bank to, just to get a little bit more money? Maybe. Or is his hatred so bad for the, the clerk behind the desk that he wants to rob some more money? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it is. And if it is, when we're in the ring, when we're going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, is his desire to secure his family, which he's done now, as strong as him wanting to beat me? I don't know. We, this, is, this, is up, this is up in the air. Nobody knows. Only people tuning in on December 17th will find out. Um, I know what my motivations are, they're, to, they're for revenge. I want to be the best fighter in the world at heavyweight. He's said clearly he doesn't want to fight anti Joshua, he doesn't want to fight Don Tomato because he doesn't believe he's big enough. So, what, so I keep asking myself, so why go back into the lion's den you know, and do it again? It, maybe it's for the fans, maybe he loves the fans that much, he's going to put everything back on the line again. But once you rob a bank once, they get extra security cameras. They get extra security guards. They might move the safe. And uh, if you're that confident you can rob a bank twice, well, good luck to you. But I, I will not allow 
I will not allow Tony Bellew to hear the final bell. Will not allow this to happen. I've, I'm doing everything humanly possible to make sure it doesn't happen. And I'm healthy. I'm very healthy. I'm in very good condition. As I said, every day since since the last fight, I've been working, focusing, analysing. And you're going to see. I've said it before, and I was wrong. But I believe I have the right pieces of puzzle in place to get the very best out of myself. And you'll see on December 17th. You know, the very best, uh, David Hay. So tune in. It's going to be fun. Hopefully, uh, Tony Belly has the same motivation he had for the first fight. I really hope so. Because if he does, we've got ourselves a fantastic fight. And every single person tuning in around the world will get their money's worth. So thank you very much. And uh, I look forward to seeing you all on December 17th at the O2 Arena.